Hi, welcome to Rock Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Rapolo, and on this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to rescale your patterns and templates using Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. Using this method, you're actually able to rescale any photo you can find or scan in, whether you get it from the internet or something you drop yourself and scan in, you'll be able to rescale it to whatever needs you have. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments, and that's great, guys. Uh, keep those coming in because it helps me better prepare the videos for you guys and try to answer your questions for you. Now I have been getting uh, actually a lot of questions on the helmets uh, saying that they're too small, uh, they don't print out right, or how do you measure and, measure and scale for them. So I'm just going to concentrate on the actual helmets and for my helmets I actually measure from my outside of my eye sockets and that's actually how I get my get my measurements so you'll need a tape like this and measure from eyes, the outer eye socket to the outer eye socket on the other eye and you can get a rough measurement on there which mine's right around six inches now this is the me uh, method I've been used on the Captain America helmet the Batman helmet I'm working on and majority of the others and so far it's actually worked pretty well so uh, let's see how to do it alright guys I'm going to show you how to resize using Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 I've already got it opened up here and pulled in a few photos uh, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and start with a blank file and actually set it up for my page size which this is 11 by 5 11.5, 8.5, and open it up. Okay, if you go up to the view right here, and you click on that, they'll drop this window down, and you'll notice it has rulers and grids. I like to open up the rulers here. You can see on the sides that it has your rulers. Now, if you right click on it, just up up here on the actual measurement line, this, you'll get a drop down window that'll give you different options inches centimeters millimeters uh, I generally work in inches so once you have that open you can also open up a grid and this will give you where you can actually see where your measurements are in the middle of your area here I'm gonna turn that off for the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and just grab and put the Captain America helmet stencil. So here you can you can see if we put it up here, the whole thing's going to be about eight inches if we try to print this off. Now, generally, when I'm doing helmets, I like to measure between the two eye points from the edge of each eye, which would be right here on the helmet. So what I'd want to do is I'll actually want to resize that so. If you drag on your corners, you can resize it. And generally for my uh, my helmets on my head, they're generally about eight, I'm sorry, generally about six inches. So I want to keep scaling that up. And we're a little bit farther. And that's pretty close right there. Okay, we'll call that pretty good for now. You can also, this is a good time to hit that snap grid and you can actually see where the lines come out to me. Which will give you a better view. I generally measure from the inside. This is the eye, actual eye opening. and So I wanted to make sure the eye opening is going to be low. Uh, not going to be covering my eye so if we scale it up just a little bit more and that's pretty close now you have to if you go down to file you notice you can't hit print yet you'll have to go down where this green arrow is over here make sure you click on that and then you'll be able to pull up your print window
and if you notice right here it still looks small that's because we're on the end look where your your highlight is move that to the front once it's in the front whatever's in the front will come up in your print window so now you can move it around if it doesn't if it, some of it's cut off just come up here and move your piece move your piece around that you want printed into your window and go back to your print and now you notice you can see it so you'd print this part off and then come back into your main window and move to your next area you want to print and then that, that area come up and then you'll just keep continuing until you get all your pieces printed out, uh, printed out. Alright guys, there you go. A simple and easy method for rescaling your templates and patterns. I hope this helps you guys out and answers some of your questions. And I, now don't forget to go to my Facebook page or my Instagram. You'll see uh, future projects I'm working on and video one for you guys. Also, you know, don't forget to send me your photos to my Facebook page so I can check those out. I really am interested in seeing those. And that's it for this episode. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next build.